Forward Operating Base. What's up everybody? This is Gunter Serverlo. Today I want to share with you a composition that I created for my mission, the ISIL Foothold. Here you can see it on the Steam Workshop and there is several features and functions to it. Let's go to the game itself and I'll show you this new composition. You can find my composition under F2, under Compositions, Groups, and then go to far right where it says custom and click on that and then under military and FOB forward operating base is the composition now before you place a composition you want to make sure that the toggle vertical mode is set to up which is where the horizontal line is running across the top otherwise the composition won't set right and some things might be floating then you want to have the toggle surface snapping so that it snaps to the ground. All right, so we place the composition. You just click on the composition. It'll attach itself to your mouse cursor. And you just click on the map about roughly where you want the composition and place it. Once you have it placed, it should snap to the surface and everything should be good and nothing should be floating. And then you can just click on the map to unhighlight everything. So this is the forward operating base that I created for my mission, the ISIL foothold. Uh, there are and have been some things that have changed, like this ramp here is new and the wall extended is new, so it looks like it needs a little bit of work, but based on the train I had it on, it worked for what I was using it for and I'll show you that. So this is quite a big base. It took me a while to build in my mission at the time. This was actually about a year and a half, almost two years ago that I built this and it adapted it for the train. So you have these watchtowers on the main corners surrounding the base. And then of course you got a headquarters here. So you have that watchtower is there. And then here you have a set of helipads a ramp to get down from the upper platform or deck of the FOB down to the helicopter area. And then here in my mission at the time, I had it set up where you could come to the sign and recruit AI because ideally that's what I found out. You don't want to recruit on the deck here because then the AI, they, they can't get around. So ideally, if you're going to add recruit, uh, AI, any AI, AI recruitment to your mission, it's best to do on the terrain itself and not on the deck. These gates here are have a trigger on them and basically this allows the gates to open and close automatically when the player enters them. Support requests are set up so you could set up a, a mortar or some artillery gun, you know, sync that to there if you want. And here you could place helicopters and connect those to the helicopters so you have attack helicopter you have transport you have and another one for transport so you could change those or adjust those or remove those whatever you want to do for your mission headquarters which is furnished with various objects that I also had in my mission so you can adjust or move, remove or whatever you want to do in your mission with these so this kind of creates a uh, an atmosphere or ambience for the the building itself and then here I had set up board for halo but it's it's empty and here is an ammo box this one actually has virtual arsenal in it so if you decide to use the FOB uh, this will have virtual arsenal in it already and then we have various street light lamps uh, surrounding the uh, FOB for any time, any evening or nighttime missions. I'll show you what this looks like in a mission. And this is my mission, the ISIL Foothold. It's a huge mission. I'm sure you've seen it before on some of my other videos, but I really never showed off the base. So this is the base, and this is how I adapted the base before. You could see that the front entrance to the ramp is not as big. That's because it's not on a it's on a different surface, you know, kind of like a hill. So this is how I adapted the base. And the helicopters. And of course, this version of the composition is a little bit different. This is an earlier version. I didn't have the 
uh, watchtowers in the back here. But you can see without the overlay on, it, where I had some of the vehicles, I had a mortar set up, vehicles here, lights, and I had soldiers, a static machine gun right here, and soldiers in the watchtower. And here we have a medical building, which is the same in the composition, where you can you can come in and uh, grab some facts or med kits. And of course, if you come in at night, you'll have a camping lantern there, so you'll be able to see. Be advised, support units are now on standby. Out. All right, so you can come out to the area here. And uh, like I said earlier, you have access to virtual arsenal. Here I had Halo, so that's kind of how that works. So you can use the whiteboard to, with whatever you want, for whatever you want. Here I had a table with a box and some other things you could use. Here we had uh, a mortar set up. And then if you go out to the front here, the gates will actually automatically open. So if you come up, and you exit, exit the area, the gate will close behind you. And as I said, I had this set up for to recruit AI, so you can recruit AI if you want to do that. And like I said, I highly recommend doing it on the the base terrain itself because the AI can't find their find their way around nor will they listen to you if you're up on the deck so this is what I discovered the hard way so here you could put the helicopters and different stuff and of course you got the gates here too and if you exit the gate it'll close behind you I want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.